Good morning my dear students i hope everyone are staying safe at your homes as per our college instructions we plan to give assignments for each subject as a part of operations management subject i am going to give assignment on a topic of facility layout i, I hope everyone go through with this video and complete your assignment before the end date let we start our topic layout of facility or in a facility layout so first of all what is meant by facility the facility is something that makes work easily in a simple terms the quality of being easily performed so here as in a part of our company objectives or in a company goals we want to perform some activity so here to perform an activity we want to arrange all the things to perform in a right manner and next we have any layouts what is meant by a layout layout is in a plan or design or arrangement of something in a particular say particular space to maximize the use see here it's in a simple terms it is an arrangement of something something is nothing but it may it must be any equipment it must be any manpower or it may it must be any water facility it must be any workstations what not it will be all the, whatever the requirements or need for performing a task the requirements we can arrange in a particular layout in a particular space we can call it as any layouts once we look into the topic for our, for an organization to have an effective and efficient manufacturing unit it is important that a special attention is given to facility layout facility layout is an arrangement of different aspects of manufacturing in an appropriate manner as to achieve desired production result in our normal terms the arrangement of all machine of all machines simple it's an arrangement of and equipment so let me have an example just you can go through this picture this is an layout for a grocery store here you can observe the entry the customer when he enter into the store first he went for any carts there he can pick the cart and then he'll go for any milk bread and simultaneously it's an different products which are arranged in a sequence order and the meat and next one and the uh, foods and the last he will get uh, he'll get back with any check out before after the paying the bill he will check out with any same entry way entry way and the exit way is in his same so once you can observe this picture once the customer enter he will pay and here you can you people can observe the sequentially arranging the all the grocery materials the customer he can easily identify those groceries and he can pick and he can keep it in the cart and finally he can pay the bill and finally he will exit this is the layout for any grocery store again we'll go with any another example office layout so here you can observe this is the office floor layout so here you can observe here we have an entry point and we can see the manager room and here we have the finance department in the finance department we can observe the employees workplace and the manager or tl cabin and uh, right hand side we can observe the accounting department and the last we can see the branding department 
see once you can observe this picture means here within a uh, certain area we are can observe the four different department in the the four departments are arranged within a limited space itself so as in a part of us we wants to arrange all the equipment missions whatever the resources we are required we wants to arrange in any particular place that we can call is any facility layouts so when we how we can define as any facility layout means here in a normal terms we can um, we can say that arrangement of all the missions missions utilities what uh, you will get one big question mark what is mean by utility so utilities are nothing but as an electricity water facilities gas facilities and uh, internet cable facilities and the trash management everything we can consider it as any utilities employees workstation so you can observe we can using the small space and we are assigning for any four different employees for employers so here we are managing the workplace so here employee workstation you can call this as an employee workstation and customer service area and simultaneously we can arrange the material storage area uh, apart from these we can consider the restrooms lunch rooms inter um, a production area office area and so on why we wants to focus where we wants to arrange all these things means for making the work as in a smooth for as a, as our uh, how we can define means here the process by which the placement of departments work groups within the departments workstations missions and stock holding points within a facility or determined in a normal terms as an understanding terms a facility layout is an a physical arrangement of everything needed for production of goods or any services see once again i will repeat the facility layout is an a physical arrangement of everything needed for production of goods or service so if we process this facility layout means we require uh, some information the information is uh, what are the blocks or departments that arrange in any particular area and facility footprints uh, what is meant by facility footprints means in example the exit of any building exit and the entry of any building uh, so here we wants to require require the facility footprints and uh, we require information of uh, flow measurement and space requirements and what are the departments means in the department was the workstation was the storage was a meeting room was a conference hall so on and uh, we wants to give the information regarding the control state storage or sorry central storage and as administration and what are the remaining all requirements we wants to give based on that uh, uh, requirements by, by based on that information only they can able to design the uh, layouts so first of all based on uh, first of all the main important information we wants to give is output and flexibility so here are the specification of objectives of the system in terms of output and the flexibility see once we are uh, mm, fixing the layout once we are uh, uh, thinking about uh, building the facility layout first of all we want to focus on the flexibility so days are changing the technology is changing so every time the industry wants to update with any technology if the flexibility is there for any layout then only the companies or industries they can easily adopt the technology for adopting or for a rechanging of any technology we must and should maintain the flexibility in our layouts and next second information is a second thing was thing is estimation of product or service demand on the system 
see based on the demand factor we wants to make our layouts to produce more output and next one is an a process requirements in terms of number of operations and amount of flow between the departments and the work centers and next one the space requirement for the elements in the layouts and the last one space available within the factory itself so based on all these information we can able to design the facility layouts coming to the object coming to first objective the first objective is a to optimum to utilize the optimum space to organize equipment and facilities movement of goods and to create safe and comfortable work environment and second objective is to promote order in production towards a single objective and third one is to reduce movement of workers raw materials and equipments fourth one to promote safety of plant as well as its workers to facilitate extension or change in the layout to accommodate new product layer line or technology upgradation and the last objective is to increase production capacity of an organization so these are the objectives of facility layout tools of facility layouts what the main objective is a model facility layout should be for achieving the above objective we require the following things the first one is the better training of the workers and supervisors the second one creating awareness about the health hazards and safety standards third one optimum utilization of workforce and equipment and the last one encouraging empower encouraging employer empowerment and reducing the administrative use and another indirect works see if we if by providing the training to the workers and the supervisors and the creating awareness regarding the health hazards and safeties and third one by optimum utilizing the equipments workforce what not it will be and encouraging the employers means empowering the employees we can able to achieve the above mentioned objectives and the last but not the means uh, but not the least uh, we have any types of any layouts so the types of layouts will uh, discuss in our next classes so first of uh, what are the types of any layouts we having uh, six types of any layouts first one is an line layout second one functional layout fixed position layout cellular technology layout combined layout and last one computerized related to allocation of facility techniques these are the six layouts so uh, students by based on this uh, lecture i am going to give an assignment so within the two days uh, within the deadline you wants to submit the assignment i hope you people were i understand this concept and the finally i will give some video one video to understand that concept in any easy manner so we can start that video so this is the automobile industry or some industry i think so sorry here you people can observe 
the layout of in a total industry here we can see the car parking and the workstation means production station see here this is a production station here in the production station based on the requirement we can arrange all the missions in any sequencing order why we are arranging all these uh, equipment in a sequencing means for making the work as any easy or simply we can call it as any smoothing of any work this is a entry you can see arranging the electricity how they arrange the workstations space allocation for fixing the each machines so like this we can able to arrange all the equipment whatever the requirements we need for any production in a particular area that part we can call it as any facility layouts i hope guys you can understand the concept Thank you.